What's up everyone? Trent here at Precision. We don't stop. We got a 2015 Dodge Ram in the house today that's having some issues that we're gonna address with a transmission service, a valve body, a solenoid pack, the whole shebang. We're gonna take care of this thing all at one time we have a good working unit but what we do not have is the brain so we're gonna get this thing fixed get things taken care of and we will see y'all back shortly this is a first good things one, first disconnect your main plug-in to your solenoid pack inside the transmission do that before you ever get the pan down i'm a couple steps ahead of y'all I'm trying to do this fast as I go, but 100%. So we have the pan down. First thing I noticed is we do not have a magnet in the pan. This thing should have a magnet. It should be over here. So we will get one of those in there. Um, we're going to get this valve body down. I'm going to show you all how we do this over here. Sonex, man, let me tell you what. If y'all don't have any Sonex products in your transmissions, you probably should get some. Check this out. Now that we've got our filters off, screw on, bolt on, we've got six main bolts that hold your valve body on. So we've got one here, two, where's it at? Three, four, five, six. So six bolts that hold this valve body onto our transmission. Let's get this thing off. Well, there you have it. We've got our old valve body down. You can see inside the barrel of the transmission. Pretty cool there. Thing looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead and and do everything Sonex says here. We got some springs to change for our diesel valve body. If this was a gas, you just got to read this stuff. This is a valve body that will retrofit into a couple things. So you guys pay attention if you do order this and do something like this. See y'all shortly. Okay, we are back. We've got our old valve body and solenoid pack separated for the core charges on those things. We can get those shipped back and get our money back. We have our new valve body, new solenoid pack. Let me say Sonex valve body. These guys here, when it comes to updating stuff, they do it right. First part is they upgraded it and put gaskets in here. These things have cross leaks from factory. As you can see here, our factory one does not have any gaskets. They have issues. Here are accumulators. They are plastic. They break. The springs, they break. Sonex. Billet. 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 You can't see these, but they are billet. I have went and I've changed all my springs. We are dressed, we are ready to go. Guys, we'll see y'all shortly at the vehicle. All right, old valve body all wrapped up, ready to go. Solenoid pack ready to go. Let's get back over to the vehicle where our new valve body is all ready to go. But this is very important. Right here is your linkage. This is your park reverse neutral drive. You need to make sure, hold on, oh, oh. You need to make sure that you're stabbing it in here at the same time. That is your linkage. If you do not and you miss stab that, put it all back together, you'll find out. Let's just not do that. And we won't, okay? So. Let's get this thing up there. I'm gonna set the camera down. I wish I could video putting it up there, but I can't. Uh, I'm the only one here right now. So let's get this bad boy up there. Our valve body on, everything tightened down. Screw on filter on. 
we have changed our seal here as well in the pump we're gonna get our new both on filter get it on and we're ready for the pan of course yes i will be cleaning all that off well there you have it that's how we do one of these upgraded valve bodies and a fluid service on a 68 rfe oh nice bead of silicone We like to use a high heat red RVT silicone. So y'all guys, if you have not got this stuff, you need to go get it. Works really well. Last but not least, we still have our shifter linkage loose. We're gonna plug back in our valve body. Just like that. Thing snapped in really nice safety clip engaged now we can install our shifter linkage there you have it get the truck back down do some initial things fill it up fluid quick learn drive it so we've Happy got customer. the vehicle up to an operating temperature so what i'm gonna do now is a quick learn on the unit. So let me show you how we do this. We're gonna do a quick learn. Continue, yes. Read everything. Brake is pressed. My foot is on the brake as well. Emergency brake is set. Go to the next one. move our shifter to drive as said don't let off the brake through this whole thing go to neutral I haven't touched it it's gonna do everything shift it into drive do not release brake pretty crazy Shift in the park. There you go. So we're gonna go drive this around, make sure everything is good. See if it works.